All right, Mickey, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for dressing up again? Oh yeah, okay, so I've got lots of treats here, which I'm very excited for. But anyway, today everybody, me and Mickey are dressing up for Halloween. It's that time of year again. I feel like the last couple of Halloweens, I've dressed the horses up and you guys have really enjoyed it. The other year, I think Casper and I were Coraline. That was quite cool. But this year, because actually like a few months ago, we dressed up for the Barbie movie and so many of you, I think that video's got over a million views now, so thank you, loved that video. And also so many of you said that I look like Margot Robbie which I feel like is the biggest compliment ever so thank you I personally don't see it um, but anyway I thought what other films have Margot Robbie in and are kind of Halloween-y the Joker so that's what we're going to be I'm going to be Harlequin Mickey is going to be the Joker I thought you know that would probably be the better <laughs> way around um, so that's what we're going to be doing today um, anyway so first off I'm going to get Mickey ready and then I'm going to get myself dressed up which I feel like it's going to be a very different look to me I feel like I'm definitely more of a Barbie kind of gal rather than a Harlequin kind of gal so that might be interesting <laughs> but anyway let's get you ready Mickey yes oh my gosh this boy is so licky today you are so licky. Mickey now has his makeup station set up, which is basically him with some snacks. He's got his haylage net, so it's a bit more of a snack station, really. Um, as usual, I'm gonna be using my Happy Equine Pony Paint. This is designed especially for horses. It's non-toxic. I've used it on Mickey quite a few times before. He's never had any reaction or anything like that to before. It washes out really easy and it's water soluble as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be putting that in my little Bailey's cup. This is actually the exact same cup that I used um, for mixing up my paints when we did the Barbie filming. Um, but anyway, Mickey, this is actually one of his favourite things. He's literally just going to stand here, happy as Larry, with his food while I just like pamper him. So he's going to be having a lot of fun. I need to kind of decide which joker I'm going to do, but first I'm going to mix up my paint. All right, so I've just put a little bit of yellow in here because I feel like it's a bit more of like a yellowy green, his hair. Also, I haven't even said what joker I'm doing. I'm planning on doing the one um, by Joaquin Phoenix. However, I've just realized that's not the one with Harlequin, but I thought if I do the one from um, the film with Harlequin in, then Mickey's probably gonna end up looking a little bit more like um, the Grinch <laughs> rather than the actual Joker. So I feel like some DC fans and things are gonna get upset by this. Also, I feel like some DC fans are gonna get upset by which Joker I choose, but at the end of the day, I can't make any everyone happy. So we're gonna see how we go. So basically I need to decide if Mickey's gonna have more like clown face makeup or if he's just gonna have like dark around his eyes, but either way, the joke is the joker, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to do his main green first, so that's going to be the first step. Also, a lot of you in my previous video asked me why I'm not using chalk for his mane and using pony paint instead. I just personally find the pony paint kind of like is it's just a bit more pigmented the chalk i find is just it's just not enough like this is a bit more wet you can do a few more patterns and things like that with it i just find it easier um so first what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna kind of do little streaks and then i'm gonna make it a little bit bolder because i don't actually have that much green pony paint left um, back when I filmed the horses as different characters, I think it was Casper, his mane was green. Um, so we used up quite a lot of the green paint then, but hopefully we have enough for today. Are you happy, boy? He's like, this is the life. I'm just having my snacks. I'm getting pampered. This stuff, I think, is pretty much just made of chalk and, like, food colouring. I always forget how far back their like mane goes like there's always this little pathetic little stump at the end which is so cute on their, weather on their withers. Oh my goodness look at his little green forelock. Mickey you've got green bangs or a fringe you look so cute. Oh look at him he's too cute to be the joker. I feel like out of all my horses Mickey probably suits the joker the best not because like <laughs> he's a dark horse if you know what I mean no joke pun intended I feel like I don't know maybe it's the blue eyes I feel like a lot of people some people comment on my channel that Mickey looks scary which breaks my heart because he is so sweet but I think it's because he's like very pale like he has bright blue eyes which most horses do not have so you are a little bit more unusual looking but I think you're gorgeous yes so a little top tip that I've learned over the years is I, if I, you're doing their mane, I quite like to get a brush and just like brush it through. And I find it kind of helps separate the paint a little bit more and look a little bit more like he actually has green mane rather than I've just painted it. 
hopefully when it dries as well it looks a lot better it does unfortunately get a little bit of underneath but you know what his mane's covering it it's fine it's fine <laughs> it's gonna look great i tell myself this every time it's gonna look great also if you're watching this video for like a proper tutorial um cosplay like i'm not a professional cosplayer dresser up or anything like that like i'm just a girl having fun with her ponies um so that's what today's video is so i feel like my outfit might look a little amateur, but it's fine. It will be funny. We're having fun. <laughs> it's all good. I do get quite competitive with things though. I, do, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I'm not going to lie. All right. Mickey's mane is now complete. The next part is to do his mouth, which I feel like is the most iconic bit. You're going to be like, yep, yeah, he's the Joker, not currently looking like the Grinch. So anyway, that's a different holiday. But before I do that, could I just ask one thing from you guys? If you could subscribe, please, that would be amazing. Because apparently 80% of you that regularly watch the channel are not subscribed. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. And now it's time to do your mouth. But I don't want to get it in his mouth. Like, I don't want you to eat it. Obviously, that is not a good idea. So I'm going to have to be quite careful with this. All right, we might have had a change of plan or change of joker. I think I'm going to do the Heath Ledger joker now, just because I thought the other one looks a little bit too clowny and I feel like people won't be able to see Mickey's the joker. They'll think he's just like a clown. So we might have black eyes around his eyes rather than kind of like the clown style makeup that you guys know what I mean. But anyway, um, with the channel, something that I always say is horse first, horse welfare first. So um, the main important thing isn't Mickey looking pretty or Mickey looking like the Joker. It's making sure that he's happy and he's comfortable and that nothing, no harm is going to go towards him. Good boy. Well done. That's, that's his new mouth. <laughs> there we go. It looks like he's just been kissed on his nose now. <laughs> Mickey, it looks like you've been kissed. It looks like you've been kissed. There we go. It's the Joker! Oh no, <laughs> I've just got red paint on me. I mean, I am wearing the correct colour, so it's fine. I just hope I don't accidentally smear this on M Mickey in different places so he looks like he's got some battle wounds. Um, but anyway, next is black around the eyes. Also, before I do this, I just wanted to say, um, Mickey and I have been together for 14, almost 14 years, 13, almost 14 years. So um, I know that he's the sort of horse where he's very happy for me to do this. Obviously, all horses are different. Um, it's literally just washout paint. But anyway, I'm gonna do my best not to get it near his eye because obviously we don't want it going in your eye, do we? So I'm just gonna do a little, a little circle under here. There we go. I might just do it underneath the eye rather than all the way around because when it comes to washing off, I don't want it to go in his eye. Oh, Mickey, you are such a good boy. He's falling asleep, look at him. Oh my goodness, how fabulous does Mickey look? He looks so cool. So everything I've done to make sure that when I do wash it off, it's gonna be as um, easy as possible. So for example, the black, I just did it under the eyes because when I come to washing his face, I don't want any of the um, paint to go in his eyes. And also with the mouth as well, I've made it so it's not on his mouth at all. So there's no way that he's ingesting any of the paint. But anyway, Mickey has been very good. The Joker is now complete. Next is to get myself ready so I'm gonna put Mickey back in the stable with some food to have a little bit of a chill while I transform myself welcome to the office this is where I'm gonna be doing a few DIYs for my costume also if you don't know who Harley Quinn is what she looks like I'll put a little picture up on screen of who I'm trying to look like now I just want to say I am not a cosplayer or someone that regularly dresses up so this is definitely gonna be a little bit of a Harlequin from Wish. It's going to be a DIY version. So um, I want to try and make it as ethical as possible by like not buying a costume and trying to make it myself from things I have at home. So I actually um, thrifted this t-shirt from a charity shop. It was just a men's plain white t-shirt. But what I've done to try and make it look a little bit more like the actual character is I've dipped the top of it. If you couldn't tell, I definitely did this at home. I dipped the top of it in some red dye. So I'm thinking because it's got the logo there, I could wear it backwards and maybe cut like a little bit of a neck hole. Obviously on the top, it also says daddy's little monster. So I need to write that on the top as well. So it's definitely going to look a little bit not quite like the original, but I kind of like that it's homemade. Also, it's a lot cheaper than buying a costume online. So let's see how we can do this. I need to get myself some scissors. All right, I'm gonna try and cut this neck hole now. All right, so I feel like it's gonna be okay 
because her t-shirt does look a little bit worn like there are a few holes in places and that kind of thing I don't want to have too low of a neckline so I'm gonna cut it like this and I can always cut more but I can't stick it back on I mean I could sew it back on but that is way too much effort for me can I like distress it at all I've got little red red fluffy bits I'm trying to well if it looks bad I can always wear the t-shirt the other way around bit strange but I'm putting a notepad underneath here so it doesn't go through to the other side because that would be really sad I know people aren't really going to see the back but just in case all right I'm going to probably start writing as soon as it's kind of goes from red to white just because okay I'm going to have to get a picture on my phone because I want to make sure that I can actually do this calligraphy wait a sec all right so I have it up on my phone so hopefully I'm going to copy it the best I can but I feel like it's still going to look a little bit dodgy but that's fine it's not going to look perfect but it's the effort that counts okay I'm doing the D of daddy this is this is actually pretty like high pressure if I mess this up I can't rub this out so oh my gosh all right daddy's is now done i felt like i could have made the d's look a little bit more like d's but that's the way they look on the picture but it's fine i'm now onto a little monster and hopefully hopefully i have enough room because i feel like daddy's only was supposed to be like that and it's gone all the way across so fingers crossed it's fine it'll be fine the t-shirt is now complete and i cannot lie i am proud of myself i think i've done a pretty a pretty good job for just a gal and a permanent marker I mean I did like you know copy it off my phone but I didn't have like a stencil or anything like that that was literally just freehand so I'd say that's pretty good it almost looks like the real thing obviously not quite the only other thing that I was thinking of doing with some scissors is this is going to be a bit big on me so I could crop it a little bit obviously you don't want to be too exposed I don't want to feel uncomfortable while wearing it um, also I could maybe put like a few holes in places as well because um, I think she does have some holes in her t-shirt as well I feel like part of me needs to like roll around in some mud just to get it a little bit dirty but um, we'll see how it goes I'm gonna put the t once I finish in the t-shirt I'm gonna put that on because I thought if I do all my makeup and then I put the t-shirt on afterwards, that's just going to smear everywhere. So anyway, I'm going to make a few little alter alteration, alteration, alter altercation, no, al alterations. That is the word. I promise I can speak English. Okay, let's go. There's something about cutting a t-shirt with scissors. So violent, but so much fun. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. Goodbye sleeves. I know she does have kind of like longer sleeves in the film and in the stuff, but I just think so it looks more shabby. That's what we're going for. Okay, well let's put some holes in. I'm gonna do them hopefully where my bra isn't because do not want to be exposed on the internet. Um, there, that's a hole, that's a hole. Snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip. Okay, that's definitely enough. Sell that on eBay. Looks like the proper thing, the real deal. All homemade as well. well that was fun. I, I really enjoy doing like little creative stuff like this. I mean, it definitely doesn't look exactly like the real thing, but. Alrighty, here is my t-shirt. I've cropped it a little bit. I feel like this is a comfortable level of croppage for me because I don't really want to have my belly button exposed, but also it doesn't look too baggy on me as well. It looks less like a men's t-shirt, so. That's what we're going for. Okay, so I managed to actually find some Halloween white makeup. This I think we've literally had for over 10 years. We've had it for over a decade. Um, I'm gonna try my best with the makeup. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, that is pale. I'm gonna be <laughs> looking very pasty. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay. I ho hopefully I don't look too shiny. I think this has a bit of a shimmer in it, but you know what? It's fine. We can have a, have a bit of a glow. I cannot wait to set this with powder because this looks so sticky. There's something about like face paint that's just proper. I'm, I'm excited to wash my face after this actually because this is just caking up all of my pores right now. I feel like I'm naturally quite a pale person so I probably wouldn't even need to do this but you know what, it's fine. We're going all in. All right, I'm now setting it with some powder and that is looking a lot better although it's very streaky. I might have to like proper blend it in so it doesn't look as streaky but we'll see how it goes. Next up is eyeshadow. So I have this palette from Beauty Bay which literally has 
all of the colours of the rainbow pretty much. Um, so her right side is red and her left side is blue. So I need to make sure I get that on the correct side. But I feel like this is gonna be fun. I love using like cool coloured eyeshadow. Alrighty, let's go. Which Okay, I'll do the red one first, maybe. That seems less scary. Blue seems more like a wild, okay. Actually, this colour is literally called wild. There we go. I feel like it doesn't matter if it's a bit messy. Her look is very messy. So, I'm just trying my, trying my best. Blend it out with my finger. I'm such a professional. I'm gonna try and make it more of like a point and like really bring out that wing. I feel like that's quite cool. Should I try put any, I feel like this is quite pinky red. I might put a bit more of like an orangey red on top. Oh yeah, that looks better. Now I need to pick what blue, swim or infinity. What I might do is do swim first because that is like a little bit lighter and then go with a bit of infinity over the top. These are very pigmented, I'm loving them. And then what I'm gonna do is literally just grab my fingers and just press it down like that. That is looking so cool. So this is the part I'm most kind of scared for because I'm not an eyeliner person. Like if I do, it will be like a brown eyeliner or just like a little bit. Like I'm very much like, I go for very like a natural look. I feel like this is definitely gonna be more gothic, which isn't my kind of style at all. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and put it in my waterline. I feel like that would be really cool. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm Avril Lavigne. Alrighty, so I've just put some black eyeshadow under to kind of be like eye bags as well. And I've also smudged my waterline eyeliner. So it looks a little bit more dramatic. Now it's time to do the heart. And that is on the side that's red. Um, so I feel like this is gonna be the most tricky part because it needs to kind of, I mean, it's fine if it looks a bit wonky, but I don't want it to be too big. I feel like that's, that will be the thing that makes it look the weirdest. Is that about the right place? There we go. Well, like that's that's all right. And then last but not least, I mean, I'll probably put a bit more. I need to do my eyebrows actually. I feel like that would be quite fun. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use mascara on my eyebrows. I know that's going to sound absolutely bizarre, but I think it's going to make them look more dramatic. So we'll give it a go because I do have quite dark eyebrows anyway. Oh my gosh, that actually looks quite cool because something me and Margot Robbie have in common is quite thick eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make it like really proper, like clumpy and grungy as well. Last but not least, I'm going to add some red lipstick. And again, I feel like this is gonna be really fun to smudge afterwards. I feel like this is gonna be the thing that really makes it kind of like pop. Mm -hmm. Which side is it smudged? I, I want to try and get as many details as possible that are correct. And some of them it's not smudged and some of them it is. Maybe I should do just like a little, little smudge. Now it looks like it's on the red side. My makeup is now complete. I feel like I'm really channeling in my inner Harlequin. I mean, when I'm talking and chatty like this, I just look like Esme, but if I do like a bit of a scowl, like, felt like I look a little bit more like her. Um, but anyway, next is hair. Now obviously I do have blonde hair and I could very easily just put it in bunches. Now I have a bit of a problem. Tomorrow I have a photo shoot and I was thinking, I don't particularly, if something goes wrong, want to have blue and red hair for my photo shoot. So I have got myself some stunt hair. Now this hair I actually bought for a different reason. This is actually supposed to be a video with Max that I haven't ended up filming yet, but we will hopefully at some time. This was supposed to be Max's hair. He was gonna be dressing up as me. I don't wanna give too many spoilers, but I thought I could maybe use the stunt hair today and then put the hair chalk in that. We'll see how it goes. I really should have done like a little patch test in my own hair, but I feel like the stunt hair is more fun. We'll see how it goes. I might end up not using it, but okay. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put it on my head and I know that you're supposed to put a wig cap and everything on, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Alrighty, this is what the wig is looking like for the time being. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and get like a little middle part. I've kind of realized what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna be able to do a high, high pigtails with this because of, you know, there's not really like a, I mean, I could maybe get like my own hair out a little bit. We'll see, I don't know, actually that could maybe. If I get a bit of my, oh no, this can be dangerous. I'm gonna accidentally do stuff to my own hair. Or I could, if I get like a little, like a little baby fringe and cut that, that could work actually. 
I'm gonna have a little play around and I'll come back to you once my hair and pigtails. All right, it's now time for some snippage. Um, she has like the two, I mean, this is literally like exactly the same as my own hair. I mean, it probably looks a little bit, a little bit nicer than mine does at the moment because I need to wash it tomorrow. But uh, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of snippage here because she does have kind of like a little bit of a, oh no, I cut, I need to probably get some hair straighteners and straighten those. Oh, it's fine. It's working, it works, it works. I don't wanna do the curtain bangs too kind of short. Oh, scissors going flying. I feel like that's probably quite good. So this is what the hair situation is currently looking like. Obviously now I need to add the blue and the red. Um, I'm actually gonna be using the pony paint because I feel like it's just gonna be a lot more pigmented than the hair chalks. So what color should we do first? I'm gonna do blue first and I'm gonna do it just in the ends. Hopefully this isn't too messy, but I'll give it a go. Other side to go. I kind of like the messy look. It's cool, obviously there's loads of stuff on the inside, but it's fine, nobody's gonna see that. Woo. Lastly, to add to the outfit, I do have my bottom half on now. I'm just going to add some boots. These are very kindly sent to me from Fairfax and Favour. Um, I feel like these are probably the best boots I have to go with the look. They're sort of like combat boots. They are cool. Alrighty, I just need some belts. This is my finished look. So lastly, I need to go and find the Joker and get some photos with him. just finished doing our filming and also doing some photos as well so the memories can last of what we're dressed up as this year also let me know in the comments if you're doing any trick-or-treating or going to a halloween party and who you're dressing up as um, also if you could like and subscribe that would be amazing but anyway all i need to do is give mickey a little bit of a wash don't worry this is all gonna wash out fine if you saw my barbie video you'll know all about that also if you haven't seen that or want to watch it again i'll leave a little link to it up on screen as well so you can check that out but anyway thank Thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time bye Are you in the wash bay should we get you all cleaned off all cleaned off scrub a dub dub you've been such a good boy mickey you can get lots of treats lots of treats he's falling asleep he's like girl i've been putting up your, your stuff for years <laughs>